Hi guys, this is Lachette uh, from Scarlet Moon Creations, and I am back with this February Dark Moon uh, in Capricorn uh, review video. I know it's late. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen uh, most of these spreads. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, do so. Link down in the description below but um yeah so really quick before i start opening up and showing you what i've got here um a reminder that all supplies are linked down in the description below um if you want the washi tapes and Sticker sets. I don't know if they're still available, but you would have to become a member on um, Weverse uh, or you have to join Weverse, um, which is an official uh, account, and then pick the artist to follow BTS. And then you have access to the Weverse shop where you can get these things. Um, these are the on. A masking tape set and sticker set that I used so um, also I will start including my divination journal flip throughs again so look out for that let me know down in the comments um, preferably after you watch because you'll see um, whether you whether I should include uh, the Divination Journal flip-through reviews in these as per usual, um, like I did all of last year and years before, or um, I should make separate videos for those. It just occurred to me recently that that might be of interest to some people. So, yeah. Even though they don't take very long. Uh, Let's get into it. I, nothing, nothing decorated on any of the covers. Nothing new in my collections uh, journal. So let's go straight to, where's the thingy? There it is, okay. The spreads, let me make sure properly that I'm straight and in focus. There we go. I have thought I was straight before and in focus and then not been <laughs> that's a pain in the butt to edit so yes this is my cover page and a very good uh, demonstration of the setup so you haven't probably seen my setup because I haven't uploaded it I didn't I did film one but I had so much difficulties with exporting it and uploading it that I wound up scrapping it. After two weeks of trying, it was like, well, what's the point anymore? Um, so, yeah, if you are interested in seeing how I set this up, do let me know in the comments below, and I'll go back to attempting to try to upload that again. So, yeah, just uh, scrap paper um, that I have. Um, this brown is craft paper. This is some old masking tape and just papers from other notebooks, washi tape and sticker from a thing. I went back to trying to use my uh, Noodler's fountain pen inks from the sample since I still have some left. And it didn't quite work the way I expected, so it's a little messy. Um... But yeah, so this is my monthly log. The ink found the ink on craft paper and then the usual. I kind of marked out with these not straight lines here uh the weeks cuz I was thinking about that and then afterwards I thought I rethought and I was like, "Oh, well, I follow the lunar cycle." I should follow the lunar cycle. So, first quarter, full moon, third quarter, and new moon. My projects list. Uh, 
here and yeah using the washi tapes and masking tapes um, and paper from another journal so find new GYN didn't do that 23 exercise days yes clean my room yes get COVID tested I'm trying to do the whole once a month thing see an allergist did not get to that study astro podcast astrology podcast did not do that uh, during this cycle uh full moon ritual yes new moon rituals sort of oil milk ritual oil milk is what my tradition calls uh in bulk yes plant allies did not work on those three meditations no magic of the day i do no i completely forgot about that Take in the relational area, take my grandmother shopping. Yes, to order her more clothes. Did that call Rob twice? That's my brother. I didn't. <laughs> uh, video call Cliff, Sarah, and Nigel message some guys. Dude, yeah, I kind of fell off in the relational area. Mental product research. Yes, plan spring. Ooh. Four book of shadow pages did not do. A uh, journal, yes. The historical romance readathon, I wound up not participating in, so whatever. The plant research, no. Uh, that's related to in the spiritual plant allies. Now, financial tax filing, no. New card readings, no. Uh, product launch, yes. Product launch, yes. Uh, visit parks, no update spreadsheet. So the visit parks thing didn't happen because when I went to start, it started snowing. So, yeah, February was a lot of snow. Field and sky notes. I really only have sky notes in here, astrological notes of what was going on. I kind of went past the date here, so I had to white out a whole chunk. But yeah, um... The earth, as far as field notes, the earth is, um, it's in its rest period up until this time and kind of hibernating. Not much going on there. Release and manifest. Excuse me. Ooh. Release and manifest. So, again, I put craft paper as a background and yeah papers from other journals and stickers um i started doing more card readings and you'll see that when i get to my divination journal so in particular i'm definitely doing readings on the full moons and new moons and then during uh the sabbats uh, eight major holidays of my tradition so i thought i would put those here just mark those ritual magic I did do with my coven as usual I'll fill that in after I do this review the manifest action knowing myself using my personal power I didn't write the cards here but that was basically the reading um, the new moon reading was longer I guess so I'm still figuring out how I would put that on there. But yeah. Books read. I've read eight books during this time period. And for the most part, they were pretty good. Oh, I didn't finish filling in one of these. Um, that's four stars. But yeah. To rereading some series. A lot of new things. I finished Witcher here. And the Baron the Nightingale trilogy. Um, so that's making me feel very good about things. And I finally read the next book in the Star Changeling series, which makes me happy. Music wasn't listening to a lot, oddly enough. Um, oddly enough, yeah. Uh, but the new G-Idol song came out, Hua and Odd Eye by Dreamcatcher, I loved, which very happy about because I was concerned um, I didn't like their last song so memories not 
a whole huge amount. Um, though I might go and if I remember some, put in two or three more since I have the space. Um, but yeah, oil milk, polar thon. Oh, I didn't. Yes, a readathon that I did participate in towards the end of this period. It was the first week of February. Uh, card reading, so oracle and tarot cards. My grandmother, we spent a lot of time together. Snow days, they were, yes. Um, they started, again, at the end of this period, which is January 13th, 14th? Hmm. Yeah, it was 14th through February 11th. Uh, the 2020 reading videos. So that was a part of my annual wrap-up thing, and that was towards the beginning of this period. So, my review, Growth Tracker is here, not really working on the blog, so that's empty. Um, and I didn't put it here, but still continuing to focus on Instagram and YouTube with uh, Pinterest being added in. Covering up my income things. And still using the Lavender's uh, monthly review stuff so my word to describe the month was adjustment and yeah it's a new year it's, 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 it's a time for adjusting uh highlights from the month polar thon oil milk the card reading snow days 2020 reading videos talking with my grandmother uh one thing i'm proud of exercising pretty regularly I didn't make a routine exactly. I didn't make a challenge for myself. I didn't do a habit tracker or anything. I just did it every day. Um, did yoga every day, which very much helped. And also some other exercises every other day. So, one thing I learned. Uh, not a happy thing, but my uncle had... Uh, kidney failure, both his kidneys, and even now he's still on regular dialysis, so I think it's down to once or twice a week. So, yeah, not great. Uh, how can I improve for next month? Check in on my plans more often, uh, work through the doldrums, and work on disbelief in myself, and remember my why the whys of why I, I do this or everything uh new moon in aquarius lunar cycle will be that's the next one me authentically being me and radical self-care my top three goals tax filing product launching and reading um i didn't put any mini goals this time now to the dailies so mixing it up my dad's birthday, um, and what we did, do, 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 deferring student loans, is it a weekend thing here, since I've seen, I, I have stickers like this in these, the happy planning, 3865 things, not this one, but kind of like this one, um, me and my big ideas, yes. So, they have, like, stickers that kind of look like that. So, like, sort of, sort of recreated it. Um, try to work on my sleep. Then, I did some stamping, and this wound up looking very cheerleader-esque. Uh, very college sports type. So, that only happened this week. Um, la working on launching products and whatnot. Okay, then here I, this side is craft paper. This side, I think, I thought it was craft paper, but because it was thin and I had a bunch of craft paper sheets that I pulled out from an uh, art journal sitting here to be used as I wish as I went through my dailies however this was like a piece of cardboard probably in some packaging or something not thick but like very thin um yeah and I 
had this ribbon that keys on it and I wanted to use it so I did um, and stamping doo -doo -doo, and doing inventory updating my business spreadsheets and whatnot and okay so this is my blackathon readathon spread so blackathon is a monthly readathon during black history month and yeah so I started this before the end of the month so I would be prepared it's uh, very involved there's a lot of moving parts you don't have to participate in all but I hadn't decided what I would participate in exactly so I put as much as I was interested in possibly doing here um, and I chose team sci-fi and here so they have watch alongs where you watch black movies and I didn't watch most of them there's the movies from last year which I didn't get around to blackout dates where you're supposed to post your selfie and I didn't do those the YouTube challenges I just recently posted my blackathon reading vlog where I did most of the challenges so you can check that out and then on this I have the books uh, so there's four prompts for each team I only completed three of them with two books um, and this post-it note was for other books that I might read, most of which I did not get to, but I left it there. These are the other books I read that didn't fit the prompts, so these I'll get to. Then more craft paper, uh, more stamping, not a lot going on there. Oh, I've been watching a lot of deck review videos and I put some decks that I saw online elsewhere here decks that look interesting polar thong like I mentioned uh, first week of February from the 1st to the 7th I chose team um, team Arctic Fox and five prompts and I read four books for five prompts in that weekend in that week more dailies much simplified uh, deciding on my product launches here things to launch and another weekend spread more things dailies and uh, Faro Feb another February readathon and I realized I never because it was a little complicated. It was different from the others. Um, I never made a spread. And so I made a spread at the end of this uh, cycle here. It's a little messy. But I can read it. And that's what matters. And then here is my last daily. So that is my bullet journal. Let's look at my divination journal. Okay guys. This is my divination journal and as you can see I'm using the same one from last year uh, not much has changed in the front except I finally started an index <laughs> ah. um, the 2020 things start is it here no 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 uh, the 2021 stuff will start here so yeah um this was uh, at a glance diary. I'll probably put something here, maybe something here too. Um, and this was the address section of it. I put washi tapes, mostly matching the ones I used at the beginning of the year, uh, or at last year, I mean. And yeah, so let's skip ahead because you've seen most of this in my setups from last year. The What I will show you though is um, December 2020 because I never got around to that. So I only have these two pages. Now before I go on, um, supplies, 
I got these pen sets at the 99 cent store. I think I talk about these in some other video, but I don't remember. Um, it's a 99, it's a not not a 99 cent store, but a discount store. There, so they're only a couple of dollars. I wanted to try them out because I hadn't seen um, cheap color pen sets. This paper doesn't, as you can see, do really well. Well, with um, water-based pens and markers, um, it soaks them up like nothing. And so I have to write harder, and my ink runs out in my stabilos and whatnot very quickly trying to write on this. So I was like, okay, I know ballpoint pens work on here, and I saw these clip clicks um, in assorted colors. So I grabbed these to use this year, and then I saw these gel pens, and I hadn't tried gel pens on here again multiple colors, eight count, so I grabbed them, and they've been working wonderfully. Um, so yeah, last year I had the As Above, So Below from my, um, what do you call this, my, uh, Year Head Spread, As Above, So Below, and then I had the 12 Old Men's and Clarification, whatever. I didn't do the omen for December here. I might write it down here somewhere. Um, and I didn't do the astrology. But uh, I did not do a year ahead spread for 2021. I was insanely busy and it just it didn't feel right. Even just two cards for each month. So I didn't do it. I didn't pull omen things either. Um, so... What I did happen to do, though, is this. I did a birthday reading. My birthday is November 1st. Um, so I pulled nine cards, not on purpose. Um, I started out with three, and it was like water, air, and earth. And I was like, oh, let me keep pulling until I get a fire. And it took so long that I wound up with uh, seven cards. And I was like, I can't do seven. I need either even number or an, a nine. Um, so I added the two more cards and that's how I'm on with nine cards. Um, this spread already had the washi tape so I left it there. Um, and I've never done a nine card reading before so it took me a while to get around to this. And it was just like this the next year of your life kind of. Um, so this sort of replaced the year I had spread for me. Um, even though the cards don't fit a specific time period each, it's more overall. Um, and then it took me a while to read the spread, to decipher it. I don't have a picture of it, and we'll get to that in a second. So it continues on another page because I just wrote the cards in and didn't really reflect on it too much yet. Next, um, using some of my new washi tape. Um, I meant to do like a light and shadow reading for each month, but I didn't. Um, I was just talking, trying to do other readings and ideas and things here. Um, watching some videos and I updated wish list. Partially including stuff that uh, I showed you in my bullet journal. That was like four or five decks. I've already crossed out some um, some that are no longer available or no longer going to be available. And I put prices next to some and I'll continue that. This is continued here. Um, how to use my decks. Just sometimes I forget. And I wanted to make a list. Uh, it's not just for divining the future or even mostly. Now this ta tarot study, I watched a uh, Boho Tarot's video on how she studied tarot, Don Michelle, and took notes um, about the steps she takes. I wound up buying her book, Tarot Bound, and I'll link down in the description, which 
it was basically all of the steps with more details, some exercises and stuff. It was only $12, so I thought I'd do it. But having this in here um, is nice. And because, you know, sometimes I don't want to be on the computer while I'm doing that kind of thing. Um, having an analog book written version is nice. Um, and the tarot bound is PDF. I didn't buy a printed version. But, yeah, so studying a tarot deck or an oracle deck, I really would like to do that this year. So that's that's a plan that you might see in the future. Now, then I did a full moon reading for the full moon in Leo on the 28th. Um, what is it? I tried to do the whole dark and light thing, and... I really wanted to work with the good tarot. Uh, so, I did. I also worked with, hold on, the uh, Deviant Moon Tarot. So, this just comes in a flimsy tuck box. I've had this deck longer than most, and I've used it most often. So, the box is falling apart. Um, but, yeah, hold on, let me get, there we go. Those cover cards. It's a weird deck. A lot of people are turned off by it, weirded out by it. But, I love it. It's the one I feel most comfortable with. Um, that I can read easiest. And, so, yeah. Um, this is, like, why... So the good tarot is more of a positive tarot. There's no real uh, negativity. It's uh, very much about positivity. So, and it's a elemental deck. So I thought that hey, the whole dark and light thing might work with these two, and not really. So. I'll talk more about that in my next review video, but that's what I did for my full moon and Leo reading, and it was awkward, um, and I didn't think about it, because this good, the good tarot kind of reads like a, or it looks like an oracle deck, um, just the images and... Honestly, the way the book uh, gives descriptions of each card. So, that's what I thought, but I'm still... I hadn't really worked with it before, so... So, yeah, I was working with a deck I hadn't re worked with before. Didn't really understand that I was different from the general writer weight system. And then a deck I was really comfortable with... Um, and very closely follows the Rider Waite system, even though it looks like it doesn't. And there's, they were so different. Like, it wasn't even just opposites, like I was looking for. Like, the dark and the light, well, like, dark, whatever. But they just, I was like, what? So I wound up pulling some Oracle cards, and I decided to use the Soul Trees Oracle deck. And I'm mentioning this because... Um, I wound up switching. Um, so yeah, this is an Oracle deck, and I was like, help me out, please. <laughs> like, help me, want Ben Kenobi, please, you're my only hope. Um, because I don't know what. Even reading the book, I was like, the books, I didn't know what I was supposed to be getting from this Seven of Quarters and Knight of Swords thing. So, yeah, um... That relationship did not flourish, uh, and that's okay, but, um, yeah, and here using markers and tombos to decorate, I came back later and used a cutout from a paper pad I have across the galaxy from Recollections, I got it at Michael's, and then the same with this full moon thing, um, but yeah, the... I like color, you guys know that, so yeah. 
this being a diary, the washi tape and the marker across the top covers up the dates. So I knew I had really wanted to work with this good tarot deck. So that's what I was doing for this time and beyond really. Um, I've been watching Boho Tarot and um, her a lot of Dawn Michelle's videos and I decided to try daily practice again that would help me learn the deck um, and get used to reading with it. I did a read three card reading here. I have no pictures for it. Dawn Michelle does uh, print out pictures of her cards and that rekindled that want to do that, have that in my tarot journal. These are not printouts. Ink is expensive and I don't have ink like that. Color ink. So, um, what I did because my dad uh, said that Walgreens pictures are pretty cheap is I took a bunch of pictures roughly a month's worth and put them in a collage on 8x10 sheets you can order for Walgreens prints um, online and I got matte uh, photo paper so it should show up pretty good and I just did this tip in here and some others you'll see as we go along um, and for my dailies I did uh, one of the morning practices that Dawn Michelle has is using a tarot card and an oracle deck, pairing them together, and these two wound up working well together after I tried it with this full moon reading. So it's um, that good tarot used for the energy of the day, and then the Soul Trees Oracle for the message of the day, but I wound up not liking that too much. So, I eventually I switched them. This is actually, uh, I wasn't doing too well mentally, so I picked up some, uh, what do you call them? Crystals here. And I do do that fairly often, not just because I'm feeling bad, but I do use crystals fairly often, and I never, like, write down why or what, so I did that, and I took a picture of them here again another tip in with washi tape um so yeah i the pictures are not great i was ha having a hard time photographing i had some settings on my phone which i'm using now that i realized uh messed up things um and yeah so i start out with a lot of notes because I'm figuring out uh, what this deck means and then what the oracle cards with it means. So, yeah. Um, this is more of the birthday reading, like I said. Uh, I'll try to take a picture of it and put it here or on the first page here or maybe in between. I don't know because nine cards is hard to take a picture of. Uh, most of these cards I took pictures of um, on my altar. Nine cards can't fit. Not nine of these, anyway. Um, and this is the deck I used for that reading. Uh, let's see. So this two pages is just for these two cards. Again, getting my bearings there. I'm using washi tape. Trying to match them to the cards. Uh, here... Just more of a collage type thing going on. I had spilled some ink on and used a random bit of paper to soak it up. Uh, so I used that here. Um, yeah, this is where I just... I switched to using the oracle deck for the energy of the day and the tarot deck for the message of the day and that fit better like that was better for me to understand and then we got to the new moon in Aquarius so this is the spread I did from Ethany's uh, tarot of the moon 
thing that she has. She posts them on Instagram. Link in the description to um, Ethany's Instagram. She also offers a booklet for free for the whole year. Um, you get full moon and new moon readings. There's also another one she does for the Sabbaths, which I have as well. So yeah, cutouts again, washi tape. Um, still using the good tarot here. And the photo from that and that's all I'm going to show you guys for now um I was thinking I would do all of February but then I realized I should match this to my bullet journal um so lunar cycles will start new moon to new moon as per usual and yeah, I started getting a feel for how this deck works and how I can read with it by this point. Um, so, that's my divination journal. It's getting chonky already. I tr um, it'll get chonkier and I'm okay with that. Um, so, yeah. Next month's uh, review will include... Uh, more uh, dailies, more dailies, more spreads and things. So, again, let me know if you want to see me continue to include this in my monthly review videos uh, with my bullet journal or if I should make separate divination journal videos. I just film at the same time because edit and upload them separately so yeah let me know what you think and i hope you guys are doing well and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>